Today we got the Sexy Vampirella, one of the women of Dynamite, sculpted by Jason Smith. And it's actually based on uh, some designs from J. Scott Campbell, which is one of my favorite comic artists. He's The way that he designs everything is really crisp, really clean. I just love his stuff. I can understand why. Yeah. Really bummed that he didn't show up to Fan Expo this year. I wanted to get stuff signed by him. So right off the top, it's got the uh, little certificate there. Uh, so it's number 697 out of the 1969. So that's actually pretty cool. So we'll just take this out and then we'll kind of open her up and Thanks. check out her detail. I'm going to hold your box while you pull out. Thank you. Okay. That's a, yeah, let's, let's put that there. Let's, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can smell the, the new toy plastic. Yeah, I might, yes. I might need something to cut it. You want cut it? Do we have? Where's your swords? We don't need swords. <laughs> we always need swords. Oh, the squeak. Oh, the sound of styrofoam actually is just brutal for me. You don't like it? No, I hate it. Oh, that should be enough. Mm, yeah, that's enough. Oh, yeah, all right. There we go. Taking this out of the box, it looks really nice. The only beef I got with it is, and you guys may not be able to see it on camera, but the paint job wasn't the best. I mean, it, again, it's hard to see on camera, but like the seams where the, like the bikini and everything kind of cuts in, they got some of her skin tone on the bikini or like bikini on skin tone and it, uh, it could have been done better. The sculpting is really nice, but yeah, they didn't really take their time with the paint. Yeah, I noticed that. And it just seems to be like her clothes portion. It, it's a lot of even on the back. Like there's parts where you can see what should have been painted that mm -hmm. wasn't. And it's just kind of odd because like the, there's a lot of detail in it, yet they didn't go to that extent. And when you, this is one of those more expensive limited toys, you'd think they'd kind of take the care into it because there's only like 1,969 of them, right? Yeah, but, like you wouldn't want to push something out and say limited edition and not actually take the time and effort to to make it worth someone's time yeah because it's all it's almost a shame because like but like i mean it, it does look really nice on the camera and far away you can't really tell it's only if you're really close but they put so much detail in the bottom of the base and that looks awesome you mm -hmm. know standing on like the pile of skulls and bones yeah and even the way that they did like the the cloak and stuff like that the way that it's oh, ridging off of her and stuff yeah. which you were actually you were looking at it earlier it looks like it's even just like gently clipped into her hands like i don't even want to move it but it, it is very movable and it looks like it's very breakable yeah. All in all, it's a really nice statue, but there were the few things with the paint job. It's kind of surprising they didn't take that extra care with it because it's so limited. Usually the limited runs, they put that extra love in it to make sure every one is perfect. Yeah. And I mean, if this were sitting on a shelf and you know, you were looking at it from afar, everyone's going to be like, that's beautiful. But yeah, it's only when you get really up close and look at it, like you're right. It's for a limited statue for how expensive the statue was as well. You figured they would go that extra mile and make sure everything was nice and crisp and clean for it to be, I don't want to say to make it worthwhile. Cause again, it's a really nice statue, but at the same time, like I feel like they almost try to push these out and then say yeah. it was a limited run. I don't know. Maybe they just got rushed because I mean the detail like we said in the base and everything they did it top notch. The cloak's really nicely yeah. done. Even the bangles and stuff on her are pretty good. It and was just her bikini. Yeah and her face is really well painted as well yeah. and that's usually like the the one thing that they mess up like they make the eyes look really derpy or something so yeah like, she's, she's got no derp She's eyes. got no derp eye and that's... And she actually looks like a woman because that's another thing too is usually they, they, they make her look man make look like a man. Yeah yeah so but. I mean yeah, for some reason it was just the bikini and the bangles, but yeah. weird. Weird. Yeah. Anyways, that was Vampirella. Yeah, hope yeah. you enjoyed. Yeah, you know.